Stay till the end. Trust me. Stay till the end. You will love the end of this video. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey! What's going on, man? <sighs> Been a very, very busy week for me. We have to go play at uh, Council Bluff, Horseshoe Council Bluff. So from there, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to edit the video. And I've been, I've been running. I, I've been running. So we played Friday last week. So I went from Council Bluff to Las Vegas to uh, Oklahoma and to Kansas, and then now we're up here in Wyoming, getting ready to go deliver in. Uh, some forklifts. We deliver tomorrow to Utah and then gotta go back down to Las Vegas. Anyway, I'm talking too much, right? Listen, check this out though. Check this out. The, the best investment you could ever have is that guy right there. By the way, that's my kitchen. Welcome to my crib. Look at that. That thing is pretty neat, man. Look at that. I love this thing. I, I done had like two cups already. That's probably why I'm a little hyper. So anyway, Let's get on his hands, man. I don't have a graphics up for this one, and I, I didn't even get to record it. It was like my second second dealt hands, or maybe third. So I got pocket jacks, I'm under the gun, and I opened it to 12. I got no idea how the table dynamic was, so I just went ahead and opened it to 12. It costs $12, everybody else folds. Um, flop came, queen do six rainbow. So he checks. I bet 18, he shoves. Ah, oh, tough situation. Ah, oh, man. So, we got an overpay, we got an overpay on the board. This is not good, doesn't look good for us. But for some reason, I made the call. Now, um, the villain, he probably started the hand with about 125, maybe 130. I think that's what made me call. I don't know why. There's an overpair on the board, but I called. So, we lose that hand. He shows Queen Deuce. Can you believe that? <laughs> Queen Deuce! <laughs> from under the gun. I mean, from uh, the big blind, he calls. $12. I guess he, he was only putting in 10 more dollars. Let's move on to the next hand, man. So after that beat with Jax, right? Now we look at Queen 10. I'm still a little hot. I just reloaded for a hundred more. So I'm sitting at about 240. Yeah, about 240 right now. There's a $10, st uh, $10 straddle from the button. He's probably working with about 700-ish stack size. So he got us pretty well covered. So there was two limp in the front and I made it 25. He calls the 25 and everybody else folds. Flop came, queen, ace, deuce, rainbow. I bet 35, he paused for a second, and then pushes me all in. I'm not loving it, I'm not loving this spot. Once again, an over pair. Oh, situation, situation, situation. Behind, he's pushing me all in. I don't know what I was thinking. I made the call. I was, I was uh, looking for that false hope that I was gonna hit two pair. And even if I was to hit two pair, it was just bad all the way around. I was I, I was doing that false hope type thing, you know, uh, like I used to play, you know. Uh, uh, middle pair, it was unfortunately no good. He had ace 10, the turn came a ace, the river came a 10. He made a full house, so. Boy, at this point, we're stuck $400, $400. The first 15 minutes of the game. I came up with a conclusion on how I made those calls, right? First of all, I'm an idiot. I get that, okay? I don't think you gotta tell me that. And I admit that. I was coming into the game, I was thinking, I, I was overly confident, uh, way overly confident, you know? Um, I came in there. I came in there swinging, and I was thinking that I, I, I thought I could run the table over, which it turned out I was I was the one that's getting run over. I know, I know. If you give me thumbs down for this one, I give me thumbs down for this one too. So uh, I'm just saying, though, you know, it's stupid. It was stupid, stupid, stupid. There's no other way to put it. It was just stupid. A 
couple hours into the uh, into the session, this hand come up. Got king jack. We're in the middle position. I'm I'm still a little bit heated, but I don't think I was tilted though. I was just heated, you know. I think I don't think I was heated at anybody. I was heated at myself, you know. I why? How could you make those calls? You know, that's that's. I kept on telling myself that's why you stuck four hundred dollars because of that, you know. So, but anyway, King Jack off right. Um, the cutoff race or it, it's limped all the way around. Cutoff race is ten dollars. Uh, and then we call the ten dollars. The flop came seven eight Jack clubs, and we happen to have a good, pretty good club. It's the king of clubs, so he um, went check check all the way around. And then the turn come four uh, spades. So I bet 15 the cutoff calls and, and the river came ace of clubs. So pretty good river for us. I checked it. I was thinking I did not have the king of clubs. This, <laughs> I'm telling you, I was tilted. I, I, man, I, I don't think I was tilted. I was heated. For some reason, I was not, my head was not in the game. So. Uh, I check, he checks, we flip them over, and then I found out I got the king of clubs. So we win that pot. So, I don't know, man. This session, man, it was, uh, it's, it's one of those days, I guess. One of those days. So, next hand. This next hand, King Dudes of Hearts. We have we're at the small blind and it's a lip pot all the way around, man. This 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 hand right here, I, I got lucky. <laughs> so it was six players to the flop, right? And it was six five ace of hearts. So we flopped the freaking flush. And we're feeling really good right now. We got the nuts as far as uh flush wise, right? Uh are we worried about a straight flush? Probably not. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it checked all the way around, and then the eight of clubs come. I bet five dollars. The cutoff calls, and then the button raised it to twenty-five dollars. So this is when I Hollywood it a little bit. So I think for a second, and then make the call, right? Cut off, made the call. On the river, it was the ace of clubs. So I bet thirty-five. The cutoff calls. And then the button immediately pushes all in. Now, here I did not even think for one second. That's where. That's why I, I felt like I had the best hand. So I did not even think for one second. I made the call right away. Cut off folds. He made it straight on the turn, and we had the flush on the flop. So we, we I was right. We were winning the hand the whole time. Anyway, we win that pot, and this is where I gained my confidence and slowly, slowly chipped up our buy-in which was $700 and we win a whopping of $6. <laughs> what a night. Man, it was a it was a night, man. Uh if it wasn't for the, for that $400 mistake with those two hands, we would have been up $400 instead we're only up 6 bucks. <laughs> anyway, now you're probably wondering why are you rushing through the video? Well, I'm I rushed through the analysis the amateur analysis that is uh, I rushed through it because I want to show you this right here um, the, the, I told you stick towards the end you will see what I'm talking about anyway the night man I, I think I played pretty solid except for those two hands those two hands actually four hands at the beginning it's just I think it was because I had um, the mindset the mind frame that I should be coming in here swinging you know, guns blazing, you know, I got I got the 50 caliber, I was in there ready. I was in there ready to pull the trigger. And sure enough, I got knocked upside the head by a 155. <laughs> Artillery just came down, Ooh, boom, gone. Just like that. So, um, they didn't hone in. They didn't hone in on the first, uh, on the first round, the second round, they definitely honed in, so. So this next hand, we have ace queen off, right? This is the controversial hand. It's a limp pot all the way around. The flop came, king, jack, eight, rainbow. So, 
it checked, check, check all the way around. It checked, well, not all the way around, but it checked to the mid position, and then he bets eleven dollars. So I call, and then player to our left calls. So the turn came, or I checked dark right away. I I I, I was reaching for something on the table to my left. I think it was my coffee. I was reaching for my coffee. I was setting it down or whatever. And then I checked dark before the card even came out. And then the dealer said, check dark. And then the, uh, it was, the turn came a 10. So we made the straight. Pretty good, pretty good straight. So um, the under the gun checks, the aggressor, he bets 25. We think for a second and then I made the call. And then under the gun fold, the river come another jack. So now the board pairs, jack 10 possibly, but I believe I have the nuts. You know, it's just, I, I mean, I did not even think for a second. So I bet 60 and he says, I got to call you. And sure enough, he had queen nines for the lower straight, right? So, um, now this is a little controversial. I'll play the video, watch. You gotta flip it over. We can't oh. Hey, that's in the muck, man. I want the floor. She told him, go small. No way, one man. They have one player to her hand, any muck to park. What? Any muck to park. Right. And, and she told him, table to her number. She told her table oh, Show him my card. Bro, Why would I muck that? Bro, Why would I muck that? Come on, man. I got the nuts, man. Muck the nuts? You crazy. Come on. The card, the card went over, eight. and then she said, if, if he rules the I'm correct, you can keep your 60 bucks, all right? I'm not trying to be a dick to you, but if one player per hand, and she said turn the card over, you have the you have nuts. It's exactly what she said. That's what I'm saying. It's one player to a hand. Your card was face down. Got to the river. That tall. He showed. He had 29 straight. He turned in his cards. Ace face up. Queen tumbled, went face down. I didn't touch, do anything. I gave him a chance to retrieve his cards. He did not retrieve his card. I she did. Said, I didn't touch the card. She said. She was saying, "What you your card?" She said. She said you, you had reached he everybody else's stuff. And she said you, said, you, you have to reach nuts. flip his cards because I'm not going to touch one, the cards. One player to hand. No, I don't say not. He flipped it over. Right, right. Yeah, you said you won. That's what I'm saying. Then why not win because the card ain't going to muck nothing. But she, but one player to a hand. He not muck. One player to a hand. I didn't muck my hand, man. No, I can, I'm not saying anything against you, bro. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm saying nothing against you. I'm just saying one player to your hand. She said turn your card over and you have a shot. That's no, I don't say that. She didn't say straight. No. Why, why, if you knew you had the nuts, why don't you raise there? I did. I, I bet 60, yeah. That was paired. I thought I bet. Yeah. yeah but I will say. Both far over. Yeah. I, I, well, well, the queen flipped over, right. Yeah, I flipped the, I flipped the face up, the queen flipped over. Yeah. So here's what happened, right? I know I had the nuts. He made the call. He made the $60 call. And he said, I got queen nine for a straight. He said, you got a full house? I said, no. I got an ace queen. And then I flipped them up. The ace landed face up. The queen tumbled uh, or flipped over and landed face down. And then the dealer said, uh, flip it up. So I flipped it up. And even uh, player eight, yeah, seat eight was saying, flip your card up. So I, I picked it up and flipped it up, right? The cards never touch the muck. Not one time it touched the muck. He didn't, he, he, he didn't get nowhere near that, right? Uh, he immediately questioned it. He said, I want the floor, I want the floor. Those are dead. Those, that, those are mocked in. So I said, this is when I was getting heated, man. I said, what, what are you talking about? And then he said, you folded your hands. I said, wait a minute, how am I gonna fold the nuts, man? I got the nuts, man. Why would you fold Ace Queen? You know? He said, you folded, you mocked them. I said, no, I did not. And even the dealer explained it to the floor when the floor came you know uh, for some reason he was thinking that i was mucking my hand that i did not know what i had that's what he explained to me to uh, towards the end which i could understand but he said if you had the nuts why didn't you bet i said yeah i bet 60 you called he said oh, oh i thought i'll bet the 60. anyway man listen i don't know if he was trying to angle me 
I don't think he was because at uh, towards the end he apologized. He seemed like he was sincere. You know, he seemed like he felt really bad. So I accepted it. You know, I told him, man, no worries, man. I was a mistake. You know, so um, I don't know. I, we, did you have you guys? Have any of you guys ever run into something like that? Anyway, like I said, he apologized towards the end, and. Uh, and I accepted it, you know, I, I told him his honest mistake, you know, so I don't know. It's uh, I've never heard something like that before, you know, but then again, I haven't been playing that long. So but I've seen cards that, are, you know what I mean? It just they, they players flip them over and then they tumble down and then they flip them back up. So I don't. that's why I didn't see no big deal out of it. That's why I was getting heated, you know, <laughs> and. That was the end of the session. Like I said, we win $6. Awesome win. <laughs> awesome comeback, I want to say. But first and foremost, man, I want to say thank you. We are reaching almost a thousand, a thousand uh, subscribers. That's pretty solid, man. That's, you know, according, uh, I actually read an article. It was, uh, it was from uh, our Turtle News. They said that Pinoy Image channel on YouTube is growing at an alarming rate. Turtle news. Amazing. I'll take it. <laughs> no, I don't know. I thought I thought that was pretty funny. I don't know. <laughs> Turtle news, you know. Turtles are slow, you know, and they're saying something fast, you know. So anyway, <laughs> this is a learning curve, man. Uh, the only the best part is that we made a good comeback and played pretty solid throughout the whole thing you know nothing there's only those two big hands and that was it you know so um other than that that's it man until next time we're going to vegas